What's going on, guys? My name is Walter Sosa, uh, aka Riker, aka Dusty. You guys may know me within a you know a variety of names within the community, but uh, I'm just gonna kick it off. Uh, today I got a tutorial for you guys, mainly Cleo 4 and ELM 9.1, which is Elm. Uh, it's for e uh, it's for LEOs, which is law enforcement officers. If you don't know, uh, Elm is pretty much just like fast strobe lights and stuff like that so if you're an alio you know um mainly people just come at me and say uh can you help me out can you go on team viewer can you help me set this up and obviously i'm not gonna say no because i just generally like helping people so uh i was like why not just instead of writing it out or having twenty thousand team viewer sessions in a day why not just make a tutorial so i can post it up so obviously i'm gonna post this up and let's get it started uh, one thing you're gonna want Cleo for uh, the setup. You're gonna want everything updated and stuff like that. So Cleo four is, I think, it's the highest one it goes, and Cleo and uh, Elm nine point one is the same. So uh, this is gonna be your installation window. It's gonna tell you to choose your components. If you have Sandy Builder, then yeah, you can you can have this checked in. Uh, but personally, I don't have Sandy Builder. And if you don't have Sandy Builder, I suggest you uncheck it, or it will mess you up. It will destroy your whole installation, and it, it, everything will just fuck up. So, uh, um, Cleo 4.1 SDK is automatically unchecked because it is for developers. So, I suggest you have it unchecked if you have it checked. So, you're going to click next after you just have base Cleo 4 files. And it's automatically going to find your inst your installation folder for GTA. Uh, some may not, if not just fix it and you want to click next as you can see it's within five seconds uh, show details I'm pretty much going to give you the simple layout it just extracts everything to your GTA folder so once you have that I'll just move that aside and you're going to want to open up Elm, Elm 9.1 and I'm not going to extract it just for the purpose I don't like extracting things and here's the thing it's automatically going to say you need to change your GTA install path I don't know it does that for me but here's a quick tip which is gonna help you out in a couple seconds are right, you gonna wanna click start right click computers and hit property right here where it says system type it's gonna say 64 bit operating or 32 bit operating system that depends on your system so uh, just saying that you wanna tab in back to installation you're gonna have to click where it says where it has three dots three dots you want to go to your local disk, and your if you have a 30-bit, this is where uh, the tip came, where it comes in hand. Uh, if you have 32-bit, you're gonna want to go to program files, and it should be under program. Since I have a 64-bit, it's gonna be under program files 86. You're gonna want to go all the way down to Rockstar Games, and NGTA. As you see, I already have it, but I'm just doing it for this purpose. Uh, you're going to want to hit install slash update mod. You're going to want to click yes. Okay. And automatically you should have it installed. It says please ensure you have Cleo 4 or whatever just to make sure it's compatible. So uh, I'm going to open up Fraps now and I'm going to show you guys how it is. So I will be right back. Alright guys, I'm back. I just logged into Foco TDM just because it's going to be real quick. Uh, just to continue. I'm just gonna have to go on police real quick. Um, as you can see, I'm using police cruisers for the ex example. What is this bike? SV100 bike. You could use anything actually, but as you may know, if you have been playing LSRP for a while, you should know that it is a bannable offense to be using Elm off duty as an LEO or a civilian. So, as you can see, um, Here's a quick tip that helps you out. If you are and have installed Cleo 4 correctly, then if you hit escape, which is pause, look in the bottom left corner, it should say Cleo 4 or Cleo 3 or whatever you have. And it should have uh, two scripts, four scripts loaded. That means uh, Elm is installed because Elm is a script, is a mod for, for Cleo. So uh, once you install Elm, you get a custom, like it's pretty much default keys to uh, to turn it on and off. So to turn it on, you press F12. 
as you can see it's working perfectly fine um, you can hit H and it's automatically gonna turn on with it and I'll do an example of that soon uh, you just hit F12 to turn it off and uh, H for LSPD cruisers obviously is the siren so it turns on automatically so as you can see uh, Cleo 4 and Elm 9.1 is installed correctly so uh, thank you guys for watching this video um, I will be taking requests by the way any request from any problem from any program you know even if it's not LSRP related if you have any tutorials that you want me to do uh, just go ahead and if you have any problems that are persistent consisting to this video then go ahead and just post on the thread or just go directly to my YouTube channel send me a message or send me a forum PM so uh, this has been the tutorial thank you guys for watching like I said if you have any questions uh, leave a like comment subscribe do whatever you want it doesn't matter it's all for you guys so uh, yeah